Spider-Man 2 on consoles? Peak. Spider-Man 2 on PC? Mid. Spider-Man 2 on the GBA? Never played it. But what about Spider-Man 2 on PSP? I have fond memories of replaying this game countless times over my summer break and being blown away that I had a fully 3D Spider-Man game in the palm of my hand. But it's been a really long time since I played this version of the game. Almost two decades. So I recently replayed it on stream to find out how it holds up. Was it a pleasant stroll down memory lane or a treacherous fall through mediocrity and tedium? Stick around and find out. Oh, dude, I forgot about this. This is such an awesome menu. Peter's apartment. This is this is a great menu. That, that, that's one thing that always bugged me about Spider-Man 2 on the consoles. That the uh, the game didn't really have a menu. Like, it just has a start screen. A really cool start screen of Spider-Man kind of like posing at the camera. Streets behind them. But no menu. And this is, this is neat. I appreciate this. And I like that. Like, you know, depending. I believe if, you know, if you pick different stuff. It, yeah, it takes you to different parts of the apartment options. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see what that says. Dear MJ, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time now. Ooh, that's something I never noticed. Never bothered to read that. Interesting. All right. I'll do basic training just because I'm expecting like a Bruce Campbell thing. Hello, and welcome to basic training. What? Raider, and you? E, thank you for the follow. Spider-Man. Uh, before we get started, you'll need to know how to get a hold of me. Who's so this guy? Your head does this. It means I have something to say to you. You can listen to what I have to say. This ain't Bruce Campbell. Are you kidding me? No, Brucey? I, I kind of just want to quit the, the tutorial now. I guess he just wasn't available because I, I believe this game, this game didn't come out the same time that the console version did. I, I believe this came out 05. With the console version coming out in 04, so maybe Bruce just wasn't available in 2005. Whoa, look at this Tron looking guy. He looks like, uh, he looks like the main character from the first Deus Ex game. What was his name? Is it Delson? This ain't bad. Like that combat feels pretty good, and and I and I the little target triangle reticule above them being their health bar is pretty nifty. I also believe this game has exclusive like cutscenes to it, like like CG render cutscenes that uh, are pretty like impressive. Like Toby always looks weird in his CG renditions, but you know for a PSP game the CG cutscenes aren't bad. Also, I also dig these in-game engine cutscenes. This is very reminiscent of the first mission in the movie game. Look at this guy with a fucking eye patch. Ooh, very nice. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do like the classic web, web ball, web dome, web fist. This helicopter looks very futuristic. Web attack the helicopter. Whoa! Super speed. I, I pressed uh, <laughs> I should have pressed that button. <laughs> That's the turbo button. You guys did not see that. It's a hidden it, it, it's a hidden feature in the PSP. You guys just don't know about it. I see this as an extension of the first game. You know, and I, I admire them for, for like having a spiritual successor to the first game for the PSP, you know, something different. I want to meet Harry on time. Oh, short. Yeah, these are the cutscenes I'm talking about. I have to write a paper on Otto Octavius for Doc Connor's class. Toby, always phoning it in. Just come to the unveiling of his new invention tomorrow. I'll get you an interview afterwards. The paper will write itself. Isn't that Josh Keaton? That's Josh Keaton as Harry, right? These cutscenes are not bad. Like, my god, is Toby hideous. 
Uh, let's do a web ball. Wait, can I? Can I do a web ball? I forget. This game. Like, oh yeah, web rodeo, baby. Peace. Oh boy. This reminds me of uh, Tasm One. Isn't that the green goblin music from the first game? Get this stuff to the warehouse. We'll take care of Spider. -Man. Get this stuff to the warehouse. I don't know. Keep an eye out for anything that moves. These thug voices are so good. What happens if I just web him up? Oh, he breaks out. Strong boy. Now where those guys run off to? They couldn't have gotten far on foot. These levels are so short. <laughs> All right, do I have enough money to buy something else? Tornado kick? Sure, we'll do that. Ooh, that's a, that's, I like that tornado kick. This game has some good animations. This music, man. This is a jam. So can I do the web dome? I guess not. This is some like blade music. Some blade techno music. The camera, like it's weird because I'm using a PlayStation controller. So like my instinct is to use the right analog stick to control the camera, but I forget that the PSP only had the, the left thumb, like thumb stick was it called, right? Can I... I wonder... Yeah, I don't think there's any camera control in this game, like, at all. Alright, so I guess I gotta... Oh, you know what? There's probably, like, an open vent somewhere I gotta shoot up. What the hell? That's, uh... That's a thing. Alright. I wonder if there's, like, secret tokens throughout these levels that give me, like, more points at the end. Oh, that was a sick move! This game's combat system is super basic, but like the animations are kind of cool. So that really goes a long way. This brings me back all the way back to uh, Neversoft Spider-Man, like zipping up into a, into a vent. Ooh, allows you to double and triple jump. I want that. Thank you very much. Allows you to double Okay. And super jump. Nice. Press and hold L. Whoa. Yeah, I want that. Oh, okay. Here are the uh, the web uh, upgrades I wanted. Oh, and you can unlock storyboards. That's always fun. Yeah, so <laughs> on PC, this is where the game starts. Like with this cutscene. And then we don't even get to play like a level where we try to save these people that are caught in the middle of this catastrophe. All right, take it easy, Harry. What are you doing? Put me down. Yeah, look at this. This level looks great, man. The lighting, super cool. Like, why was this not a level in the PC version? I know you murdered my father. Don't think for one second this changes anything. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. In the console version, this this level is kind of annoying, because whenever you would get hit by those shock waves, oh man, I'm almost dead here. Um, is that it? Almost died there. Yeah, I really like the lighting in this level. I better get out of here. Somehow, I just know I'm gonna get blamed for this. That's a good line. I like that line, because I, I like the very basic like cloud swinging. More of a beat em up kind of thing, linear, level to level, you know, add some variety to, to the settings that these levels take place in. That's something that always bugged me about Spider Man 2, about the Spider Man 2 games, that they never bothered to include any costumes. You know, that's something ever since Never Saw Spider Man, and even the first Spider Man 1 movie game was good about that, you know, having some alternate costumes. But for some reason, there are none in Spider-Man 2. The only thing I can think of is the unmasked Spider-Man at the end of the game. But you, you can't even use that outside that level. 
Oh, this is a Mysterio level. My business is not with you, intruder. Leave now while you still can. I don't want to. I like it here. Then you cast your lot with that lying Hollywood lowlife. Mysterio is always great. Hostages. Always a great villain to include in the games. Because, yeah, you get, like, weird, felt, you know, enemies to fight like this. How do I do that? Um... Uh, okay, that's the, that's the web ball. This is great music, too, for a Mysterio level. You know, something, that, something else that bugged me about Spider-Man 2 on console is that Jonah... Like his all his hair is white. Like, come on, like it's it's just the sides. That always bugged me. Like, I mean, sure, I'm not that it's crazy for Jonah. You know, he's an older guy, so I can see an iteration of him just having white hair all over. But that's what kind of that's a distinct like character design of him. The the white on the sides, like Mr. Fantastic, and then Doctor Strange, that whole thing. Whoa, oh, it's a hologram. Are there any, are there secrets in this game? Like spider, secret spider tokens or something? I feel like there should be. Like, should I jump down here? A hologram? Ah, there are secrets. Booby traps. Someone has too much time on his hands. Oh, look at that. That's an awesome shot. Of this web zipping up through the blades. Oh, I do recognize it as a scorpion theme now. Yeah, they to they reused a lot of stuff from the first game. Which, again, like, I'm totally down for. I see this as a spiritual successor to that game. Ah, oh, look at this creature from the Black Lagoon. Two of them, for some reason. It's on this side. Nosferatu. Are they allowed to? Are these, like, uh... What was the word? Like, free royalty? Like, what did Winnie the Pooh just become? What's the word I'm looking for? That it's just kind of open to anyone to use. Like, an open property kind of thing. Oh, look at this. Mummies? Like, come on. When do we ever get to fight mummies in a Spider-Man game? This is awesome. Like, they don't do anything really unique. Like, they just fight with their fists. But I dig this, you know? I like the touch that you, you can hear that they're, you know, robots. Oh, wait a minute. I'm doing this all wrong. I gotta, I gotta destroy these things. You guys are probably yelling at me in the, in the chat and I'm not even <laughs> realizing. Uh, let's level up the jump. Because I love jumping in games. Web cocoon. Gotta do web cocoon. What makes you think That's I'll a great looking okay. Mysterio. I'll bite. How did the fishbowl get stuck on your head? Like, don't get me wrong, my preferred version of Mysterio is the fishbowl head with just like mist floating around inside. But it is kind of cool to see uh, some takes where like he has a face of sort. Ah, this music. This is just like 1940s like alien music. <laughs> so good. <laughs> The hair on this model. Hey, press. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got a little mini game out of it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this looks like like she reminds me of someone. I guess Betty Brant a little bit with the short hair. Also, that Betty Brant looked like was in the first level of the first Spider-Man movie game. Oh yeah, you find her purse. Yeah. Doesn't Spider-Man go like you, you? You jump from rooftop to rooftop with your per like you know what are you doing? Oh, here's the charge jump. I feel like the charge jump is very unnecessary for this game. You know, like the levels are so tightly designed that there's no room to really charge jump. I think that the double jump would have sufficed. I mean, even th this steel gate has got to be really hot, <laughs> you know, because that's fucking lava, like two inches below this gate. Now it's 
your turn, Mr. Fishbowl. Oh, oh my god, why is this like music so much louder than the other ones? Should I crank the volume down? I feel like this is so loud. Oh, I'm out of web. It is so weird that you can run out of web in a Raimi Spider-Man game. Oh, I see the masks. So the one all the way on the left is the real Mysterio, right? That, that's what I'm getting here. Oh, is he gonna get giant? Oh, sick. I love that big robe he has. That's a good look for Mysterio. There we go, now we're talking. This is what I need. Come on, chuck your balls at me. What did he say? Oh, oh back, ooh, we got ra razor booby traps now. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, Spider-Man 2, Mysterio's number one. I have a soft spot for Neversoft Spider-Man and Mysterio in that level, like I, I really, even though it's not a great boss fight, it feels a little clunky at times, but I love facing off against his giant version in that game and shooting the different like parts on his costume to, to sort of like disable him. Um, and it's one of my favorite versions of Mysterio because of the voice. Uh, so I'll do that as number two. Uh, for number three, I think his boss fight in Shadow Dimensions is really good. The way they include all of the Spider-Man, like we, all of the Spider-Man, we, we jump to all the different universes and we see like different versions of Mysterio as you go through different phases in that boss fight. I thought that's really cool. Uh, so I'll do that next. And I think this one is pretty good. Uh, wasn't amazing, but I, I dug that. It was a fun little boss fight. You know, if 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 you if your boss fight against Mysterio has a giant version of him, you get some free points automatically. Do you think it's possible that Venom will get his own spin-off game after Marvel Spider-Man Two, just like Miles Morales, especially since he... that's possible? Yeah, I've always wanted an Agent Venom game. I think Toby's best performance was that one scene from Spider-Man Three, right? Where he's uh, trying to run some tests or something. And MJ is calling him on the phone. And he gets like really annoyed. And he goes like, all, all those, those tests, tests and nothing! And nothing! <laughs> That's gotta be it, right? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like on a time limit here. I gotta hurry. Are there, is there something back, someone back here that can help me? Hello, manager. I'd like to speak to your manager. This is the bathroom. Oh, wait, is there an open vent in the bathroom I can use? That's the ladies room, can't go in there. Open the vent in the vault? Is there a vent? In the... Oh, shit! Here it is. Oh, there it is. God damn it. Wait, maybe we can make it. Maybe we can make it. They're... No, definitely not making it. Oh, yeah. I love how the bank manager stands exactly like Spider-Man. Look at that. <laughs> We're twins. <laughs> the PSP can't handle, like, single digits on the hands. Just a big chunk of meat. I need to move when they aren't looking. Look at all that cash. I said it before, I said it in the PC version. Peter, you take a couple fat stacks of a hundreds. I'm not looking, dude. I'll look the other way. Make your rent problems go away for a little bit. Doc Ock jumps so awkwardly. I wonder why why didn't they just use the soundtrack from the uh, the Spider-Man 2 console game? Like they really just reused a lot of assets from the first game, which again isn't a problem. But kind of weird when, like, for the hardcore fans that are like, wait a minute, that's a Green Goblin's theme. Like, why are you using it for Doc Jeez, Ock? The futility of your situation. Clever. Let me write that down. You gotta give it to Alfred Molina. <laughs> like, he actually goes in. You know, like, he's giving a pretty good menacing performance. I knew I should have kept a better eye on that guy. You're becoming very troublesome. He, he's right there, Spider-Man. You can't see him. Oh, jeez. I 
Ah, that's how you do that. I believe this is gonna be like a button prompt thing, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, it's like Simon says. We have something similar for the PC version. We just did that one. It's the same. It's the same pattern. Why are you just doing the same pattern? Are they gonna keep doing the same pattern? There we go. <laughs> A two-year-old could do these. Oh, it's Vulture. Does he reference that he knows him? No, hello. No. Oh yeah, I got. Yeah. So he knows him, right? At this point. Does he reference that? Oh shit. I missed the first button. I totally guessed that it was square. I, got, I looked away for a sec. Oh man. Oh no, I'm screwed, dude. Uh, what if I if I start the bomb defusal, would the turret get me? I think I'm safe. Alright, let's we gotta hustle. Let's hustle, baby. Let's hustle. Yeah, I want. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to just jump into the bomb defusal. Come on. Do it. Do it. Press it. No. Okay, here we go. Come on. 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got this. Yes! With nine seconds left, holy Where shit. Where go? <laughs> Dude, back. I barely you made that. You got some splitting to do. Oh my god, Toby. You're making me cringe. If you go to the Chrysler building in Spider-Man 2, you'll find a few. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a fun little Easter egg. That's another thing that Spider-Man, like, that's the one Easter egg in Spider-Man 2. And, you know, never saw Spider-Man was always so good with little Easter eggs, you know, referencing other villains. And, um, Spider-Man 2 just had that one. Can't get away, Vulture. It's a good Vulture design. Like, very basic, doesn't do anything, uh, doesn't deviate from the classic Vulture look. But I dig it. What's everyone? What are you guys' favorite Vulture designs in in video game in Spider-Man video games? I think his Web of Shadows look is pretty cool, with the with the like floating metal wings. I wanna I wanna do the rodeo. Let me do rodeo. Yeah. Look, Spider-Man doesn't kill. Whoops. Bye. You know I would have loved to. You know how the first Tasm game. Had the whole cross species genetics like thing going with Scorpion and Rhino and well Vermin has always been like a you know rat creature, but it's like the first time we we've seen like a like Rhino and Scorpion be like these monsters right? Usually they're just guys in suits. I would have loved to have seen a cross species genetics take on Vulture. I think that would have looked super freaky. Like, the, you know, this man with, like, a fucking, like, gross beak coming out of his face or whatever. Make him, like, eat people. Because that's kind of, like, that's, like, the Vulture's thing. Like, not Vulture, the comic book, but, like, Vulture's in real life. How they just eat corpses. Like, so making Vulture, like, this cannibal in Noir Spider-Man, like, makes sense. Also, I like his look in Marvel Spider-Man. Like, that gas mask look that he has going on is pretty cool. Kind of resembles a beak, the way it's shaped. I need a web fluid. I'm all out of web fluid. Like, what are you talking about? Organic, man. You guys think that, like, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, like, in the movies, like... Like, he just has unlimited web fluid, like, no kind of setbacks. Like, you guys think he has to eat a bit for his body to kind of be able to produce his web or it's just like an unlimited supply with no kind of setback. Yeah, this force field, I remember this. Any chance you knew the Wright brothers growing up? Oh, oh here we go. Oh. That's all 
It's all for you, Vulture. Whoa, that's a weird rhino look. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta do the whole dodging thing. Yeah. Oh, I bet I can just do instant damage with this. Ah! You got me good. Oh, dude, they totally- look, that's that one thug from the first game, the bald guy. They totally just reused the thug from the first game, holy shit. That's the first one I actually noticed. Oh, this is awesome, getting to fight Rhino and Shocker at the same time. Shocker keeps getting a clear shot at Do I take out Rhino first? I mean, shot. maybe I take out Shocker first. I, need to I think I have to get Rhino to run into these pillars, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, let me see. Maybe I could just make him run into the wall. Oh, maybe I can get Shocker to hit Rhino. Right? Is that maybe a thing? There we go. Okay, so I can get Shocker to hit Rhino. There we go. Okay, let's... Come on, get him before it's too late! Damn it. Only got one hidden. Wait. There we go. Get him again, get him again. Where are you going? Oh no. Oh no, what are you doing with that? Oh now I gotta get him to hit the pillars. Come on, Rhino. Hit me with your best shot. Now, I wonder, do I have to get him to hit the pillar multiple times, or just one each? There we go. Rhino's pale face kind of freaks me out. To go. Yeah, uh, Forsaken, I, I like when they do these, like, combo fights. Any health pickups around here? Oh my god. You're such a pushover, Shocker. Ah, yikes. Oh, no, 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 no! I say as I die. It's not a bad recreation. Ah. Ah. Of course, g gotta reuse the Grand Central level from the first Don't game. Don't let them hurt me! Whoa! Who put Mac Mi <laughs> Matt Mc McMuscles in this game? <laughs> Up there on the top right. This guy like a boss. He, has a, he actually has a dedicated health meter. That's interesting. The one guy. Okay. Oh, she's safe. I believe there's like a 2D section in this game, if I remember correctly, like the train fight is, is depicted as like a 2D side-scrolling level, which was interesting. Yeah, it is kind of cool, right? It's different, you know, it, it's, it's unique. And, and it just has a cool look, like seeing the cityscape in the background. I, I dig it. Imagine if the whole game was like this. I kind of would have dug that if the whole game was like this 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up thing. I mean, I guess people had certain expectations for PS, for you know, for the PSP since it was like this new and impressive platform handheld that's supposed to like, you know, have 3D games and all that. I remember being blown away by the PSP when I first got it. Like, what? Like 3D games handheld? That's crazy. Like, not PS2 graphics level, but like close enough. Like, maybe Dreamcast level. I was blown away. The PSP was like the first thing I saved money for. Like, when it was announced, I was like, okay, I need this. I uh, found out about it through a Game Informer magazine. And I want to save like $300, maybe $250. And I saved up for like a year <laughs> doing chores and getting my weekly allowance and all that saved up for it 
and I was so excited to get it. Coded Arms was like one of the one of the first games I had. Spider-Man 2 was definitely the first game I had for it. But I remember Coded Arms, like this weird first person shooter that was like not very good, but still incredible to have a first person shooter on a handheld. Uh, Liberty City Stories, like what? A Grand Theft Auto game in the palm of my hand? Oh, we're getting the famous scene here, everybody. I've got to stop this train. Everyone on board will be killed. Not a bad, like, CG rec uh, recreation of the of stopping the train. I, I hate that the PS2 version, like, has him, like, web the train from the back and he pulls it. I'm like, that's not how it happened. Gotta do the, gotta do the, the, the Jesus Christ pose. pose. What a hideous face. Peter, this ends now. All right, so we get to play as unmasked Spider-Man now. It's a fun treat. The the one alternate costume in the whole game, and like I would totally replay the game just with this simple, with this simple small change to the costume. Even though it's not a very good looking face, like I, I would still do it. I demand satisfaction. I demand satisfaction. I don't like the sound of that, Doc Ock. This is gonna be a very quick boss fight. <laughs> Do I have to redo this like after I take them all out? Or is it just. I just have to wail on Doc Ock after that. After this whole thing. Now, let's take a quick look at Toby here. I can't really get a good look. I can't control the camera, so I can't get a good look at him. But that is. That is Toby Maguire, sure. Sure. Oh shit, yeah, I gotta hurry. The containment feels. It's getting out of control. Uh, is it below the water, I believe? Right? I think it's like down here somewhere. Ah! Oh no, I'm gonna die. No! Don't kill me. Don't kill me! No, no, no. Oh no! It was right there! Alright, we can quickly do that again. Destroy you. Again, I said it before, but Alfred Molina, he actually like put in put in some effort to his performance here, like you know? Not bad I'd say. Alright, come on. Uh, you know what? Let me quickly do the the generator underneath before the containment field gets too out of control. I do like the, the ability to, to like quickly uh, wall crawl. was that a uh, was that a thing in the in the Spider-Man 1 movie game to like sprint wall crawl it comes in handy Oof, it webs it perfectly timed all right where's the last one here we go no a shield no more shield huh that sounds like my cue oh my god he looks like woody no. from toy story or something i don't know your legs off. Oh, what's up with Doc Ock here? He's like glitched out. I demand satisfaction. Stop saying that, man. That's weird. Oh no. Is this boss fight like glitched out? I hope not. I'll end your life, you miserable freak. Let me see if I can get him out of the ground, because. There we go. Your suffering has only begun. This is not a bad boss fight, I would say, right? Like the whole That was it? It's going critical. God Doc Doc, you're back! Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. And there it is, everyone. We've uh, successfully beaten Spider-Man 2. See, that's a much better looking Toby. That actually looks pretty good. Don't worry, he comes back in no way home. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, MJ. I wanted to. I even tried a couple of times, but... I think a part of me always knew. 
Now you see why I oh, that doesn't look good. It wouldn't be that looks creepy. I was selfish to ask you, Mary John. This is the first time they brought up John in this whole game. <laughs> After all, there's still only one. Spider-Man. And there it is. So it turns out that Spider-Man 2 on PSP holds up fairly well. While it is in many parts a rehash of the first movie game, it was a cool throwback to the simpler days of Spider-Man games, especially since it doesn't overstay its welcome. To put it lightly, you can beat this game in less than two hours. So I see this more as a companion piece to the console version of Spider-Man 2, and an appetizer. Yeah, it's good. See you guys next time. Special thanks to Samina Naji and Carlos Fuentes for supporting at the top tier membership. You guys are certified superheroes.